In this lesson, let's go and learn about the managed code in X++ or Dynamic X 2012. So for that, we'll be creating a new project on a C Sharp or a Visual Studio. So let's go and start our Visual Studio first. And I will start my Visual Studio and I will create a new project over here. So let's uh, let the Visual Studio start first. So let's create a new project over here and I will click on new project and we'll be creating a class library. So when we create a class library, it will generate a, the DLL file for us. So what we'll do is we'll create a new project over here and we'll call it as a, the just give a naming convention and I'll just call it as a calculator and just click on okay so we have a new project and a name space is calculator and let me rename the project of the class to let's say a calculator and also the class or the CS file over here the, and let us rename this one to calculator 2 so we have a class over here which is a jet uh, sorry which is a calculator and what we'll do is let us rebuild everything and see whether we have any over here let us try to build it so let's see whether we have any error. so that's so fine we don't have any error and what we'll do now is we'll create a sum of the method so let's create a few methods over here. I will just call as a public and I will return type as int and I will say add and let's keep uh, integer a comma int b and let us return the value of uh, a plus b for our add method. And similarly, I will create another method of uh, public and return type as integer and i'll call as a sub and i'll say int a comma int b over here and we have to return something like uh, a minus b since this is a subtraction and similarly i will create another one in the method i will call as return type as integer and let's say multi and i will say int a comma uh, let's say sorry ob not the object it should be int uh, b and we will return uh, we will return it return the value of a multiplied by b similarly uh, let's create a last method of our sorry let us create a last method uh, which will be our multiple and let's have a division over here so i'll call it as a uh, public and i'll say integer and deep let's say in a comma in b and we are taking the parameter of uh, into two variable over here and i will uh, return as a a is uh, divided by a b so we have a uh, one two three four method and our class is calculator and the namespace of a z calculator so let's uh, try to build it and let's see whether we have any error over here so no error and the next thing after we create uh, this uh, class or a class library we need to add this project to our aot over here our application object tree uh, inside a C sharp project so whenever we deploy or whenever we add the C sharp or class library to our AOT it will go through our C sharp project so let's add right click over here and we have option to add to AOT over here and let's click on this one and the project should be added to our here and you can see now it's added to jet calculator over here so that's uh, fine and let's go back to our AOT over here and I have already created one group over here Visual Studio C project 
and let me drag that one to here so easy for us to uh, customize anything on it so inside if you go to this project the jet calculator over here and you can see the content of the class the class we have a cal calculator and the namespace of a, a project of a jet, cal jet calculator and uh, we have a as class or CS file of a calculator and on the output if you go and see we have a DLL file of jet calculator so that's uh, how we create a C -surf project or a C -surf, uh, class library and we add that to our AOT so I will see in the next video and we will in the next video we'll go and see how we can uh, use our x plus plus code to call this manage code or a csap code over here and we'll learn in our next lesson so i will see you in the next video till then have a great day